without further ado, let's take a look at what we'll be starting the stream off today with, and it is self-isolation number six, Deliverance from Atom. Now, we played one of these um, from the isolation series yesterday, and I think we did a pretty good job of it. So, um, yeah, this one is uh, worked with laser in a very long time with a Sorry. So you've worked with lasers for a very long time with a little bit of light bridges. Now we're going with these two earlier maps that I made in 2015. Hope you guys like it. Good luck and enjoy. Okay. Uh, let's go to Mika, Crazy, and Richter. With the R roll there. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Polarity switching. Fizzler changing. Oh, and panel changing. Funnel disabling. I don't just see a square somewhere else. I could have sworn I just saw a square on top of that panel. There you go, just looking there. Alright. So, alrighty then. What are we going to do here? Um, first indications kind of suggest. Well, we can't use the light bridge. That much is sure. So I would assume we're going to push out of here. bridge, swap it, and go across to there. Now... I want the push funnel. Is there anything down here? Or there is something down here. Okay, that's interesting. So some flinging is involved as well. here. And we could then go into the funnel here. Oh, that's a fast funnel. That's a fast funnel. Okay, well, pretty sure at some point, uh, we're going to need to do something else with this because we haven't really used the laser grid to its full potential, we haven't really used the reverse funnel, so, yeah, at some point, we will be reusing that. Okay. So we can't take this with us. This does turn off though. So my instincts here would tell me. What would they tell me? Let's save and move through. Put a cube on there. This disables that. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And... I probably don't want to be dragging myself up there, let's be honest. But I could do this though. That's how we're going to bring a cube up to here. 
Laser field doesn't get deactivated at any point by the looks of it, so we need to keep that in mind. The button will reverse to polarity again, and we can turn this off. As per the other. I wonder if the funnel is just deactivating because of the particular. Excuse me. Uh, I wonder if it's just deactivating because of the position of the dropper over the funnel. Also, Bata. Batata. Batata Electrica. Hopefully, I got that right. Uh, your game is downloading. Portal 2. Nice. First time playing the game? Okay, so let's time let's play time to work out what we need to do. Uh -uh, that seems a good start. That and that seems like another good approach. And then that also seems like that could be useful. Okay, so now we have the ability to bring this up to here. We also have, interestingly, ability to take this cube through. Yeah, this is a commu uh, community test chamber. The light bridges and the portal gun are my own. Uh, they're actually installed on my base game. Um, anything, any other test elements that you may see, which don't look standard, will have been done using B-mods such as the um, colored cubes. Alrighty then. So. If I'm right about this, we don't need the we won't need the cube anymore. What which is opening the button? Ooh, how is this fizzler opened? Something we've overlooked. We haven't thought to look over there, did we? rather foolish. Okay. But it's not really a big deal. The cube. Take this one over here. And place that there to open up the fizzlow. Okay, so this is maybe where things are going to get a little bit trickier. Is it the first time? Is the first time you've played the game, or not? I'm guessing because your comment about is this modded and having the custom elements. I'm guessing you've played before. Okay, I'm going to save for now.
I could reverse the funnel here. Maybe that's what I want to do. Maybe we'll reverse the funnel first. Okay, so that gives us both of the cubes here. The issue being now, we do need to push the cube onto the button though, don't we? don't think that's the right thing to do at this point. May need to swap the cubes though. Cube swap may be involved. Because we can test freely respawn this one at any point. But we can't the other one. Okay. We do this, swap these. However, the caveat, isn't it? However, the problem we're doing this is, although not necessarily, right. Okay, that's where I wanted it to be. No, okay, I didn't want to swap the cubes. If I hadn't have swapped the uh, cubes, then... Yeah, you might be struggling a little bit there. Oh, wait a second. I'm still missing the whole point of this that I need to keep the... Oh, hold on. Hold on. Aren't I like... Yeah. I think we're having a massive knockover complication moment here. Maybe not. Best thing you can do is probably just will be just to like turn down your settings entirely, I would say.
Try and start by running it off. Um, try running it on like the lowest settings and then just see if you could increase any of the settings as you go just to see if you can get any more performance out of it. Um, when I first started, I used to play with relatively low settings before I got like a new graphics card and a, a better PC to run things with. So, yeah, I would just say just start off with like lowest settings and then build up. Fumbly, what is going on? Welcome, welcome. And like Rector says, it depends kind of like on the. It'll also depend on the number of. Um, It will depend on the number of um, uh, uh, entities in the map as well. Okay, so we can do this, we can do this. Got a sneaking suspicion. Mm, maybe not. I do have a sneaking suspicion that I need to use this room again. As per the previous um, Atom map we played yesterday. The issue I've got here is I could happily go over here and I could respawn the cube and I could get back through to the other side. But I would need to be in the funnel. Get anything up to here. Hold on, maybe, maybe I can do something with the reverse funnel. Back to where it was before. Were, sorry, were before. Bad English.
Respawn the cube will open up that. And that would have worked better if I'd have actually put a port on this side of the room. Let's go back and do that before we respawn the cube. doesn't help does it because we have no way getting over this side of the fizzler again now because we can use the funnel try that again so we can use the funnel to get up here now but we don't have the ability to see or do anything while we are here. I don't think anything we've just done there has been any form of progress at all. And I'm still trying to decide Do we need to make our way back to the other side. This one comes from here. Take the one from the first room. Put it over here. Now we're going to take this cube and put it over here. It'll allow me to exit. I can now get into this room through here. Let's try and use this other room, shall we? Okay. So, we need to maintain our purple portal. Respawn this cube and pick it up, and we can take this through to the other side. Now Here's the problem. This whole thing relied on 
maintaining a portal. But we don't have that ability. We've got to walk through. Because now, if we had the cube, we could... If we was the other side of this fizzler, we could use the pit. So yeah, let me let me just demonstrate what we, what we could do. If this was open and we had a way through to here, we could now do. Um, this get up onto this grating here. We could fire a portal onto there because we would have respawned the cube. Portal on here. Walked back through that portal. Then we could have put the portal here, gone back through to this side, but we'd be up here because of that portal there. Gone to here, done that. Fired this with the cube, and that would take us across to where we needed to be. So, recap. We need to work out how we're going to get through this fizzler here. Now, I don't believe... There is anything I can do but lose my portals at this point. Didn't want to do that. Zabro Bro Zabrovnik. Hopefully I got your name right. Welcome on stream. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining us. take that off there now. I do that once I've taken that off the button, okay. Okay, so we'll do this again. Through to here. Oh, I need to do the other thing. Uh, yes, we are. We are doing community treatments. I wonder. I wonder. Well, it was worth a shot. If you want to check out exclamation mark uh, map request and exclamation mark CC info, uh, there is some information on there. But in short, I am taking requests. However, I am not kind of adding anything to my currently playing queue because I have a big backlog right now. So 
Um, can't guarantee or say whenever I would be able to get around to them, unfortunately. Okay, so... Now we're in a position where we were before. Okay. So we're in this position. We've... We've actually got the same thing going on here, though. I need to go through here with a cube on there. So the real question is... Okay. Maybe the difference, actually, is I needed to... Maybe the difference is I should have... Open up the Fizzler. I was worried too much, I think, about... Keeping a portal in that far room. Maybe I was thinking too many steps ahead right now. Instead, maybe what I should have just been worried about is having cubes in the right positions. Hey, Leo. Uh, you can with B mod. There is an option to do it in B mod, yes. I'm going to save there, and I'm going to go over the premise now that we need to get... Yeah, okay. So. I don't know if the cubes matter at the moment. But we will soon find out. Okay, so the, what's going to happen here then is Jeez. The only thing I could could possibly do here would be to respawn the cube from this room again. So keeping the... I'm going to save there. Um, keeping the cube on that button isn't going to help us at this stage. But 
But it doesn't matter. Okay, it doesn't, I'm going to say it doesn't matter at the minute. If you have any questions, just do ask away in the chat because uh, we have a whole load of mapping experts amongst us. I'm starting to think I prefer the laser ones though. <laughs> okay, so... This will give us this and this. So I could move this now into the funnel. I could. Move it into the funnel, which would be helpful because then I could go through. However, yeah, no, that's I think that's totally it, isn't it? So I do this, that will go into the funnel, and then from here. Assuming that's in the funnel, I go there and almost die. <laughs> the panic sets in. Uh, then we go across here, like this. Which now allows me to go into here. <laughs> don't panic, don't panic. Okay, that is progress. That is a degree of progress. So, next up. Next up, we want to do what? I would say we want to get the other cube now. Which we can do by this. Our coffee, that's disappointing. <laughs> These things were getting spicy. Just do that for now. Actually, I think we need to take this through to the other side. And then swap with this. Q. 
Okay. Then I can get into here if I need to. However, I think... I want to do something like this instead. Really bad at timing. Well, let's put it here where I can actually see it a little bit better. Yes. Well, there's one thing I'm consistent. I've been consistently bad, clearly. I swear down, this like game is just like absolutely trolling me. Thank you. <laughs> um, do you know what though? I think it used the wrong cube. That's what I mean. It's like I'm consistently bad. <laughs> Could be worse, right? Ha. Okay, so now we're here. Now we are here. I want to get this funnel. I wonder, I think I might, though, have used the wrong cube. Maybe. Black. Okay. Now we have this one here. Did I use the right cube? Yes, I did. Thank God. Okay. I think we might be almost there. I think we might be almost there. Now, of course, what was meant to happen there was <laughs> black we all we all had to take a pop at Rector for his bad aim. Maybe we should take, just constantly have a pop at me now for my bad timing. Okay. So now, this is where the clever part comes in. say the clever part. Let me think. I 
I need to respawn both the cubes, I think. I'm trying to think. Respawning this cube here will reverse the polarity of the funnel in the first room. Okay. Okay, I think we're almost there. So now what I do is I go back to the previous room. I respawn the other cube. And then I need to re unreverse the polarity of the funnel in the other room so that I can send the cube up and across the exit. I think I'm almost there. Don't know if we need the cube or not. Guess what we get to do again? <laughs> Alright, answers in the chat right now. How many attempts will it take Nock to do this a second time? Answers on a postcard. Rector says three. Fumbly's not so optimistic. And Leo, let's just ignore Leo exists, I think. I'm going to prove you all wrong. i do it in one. Ha! <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so that's that. That is that. See, look. Big brain. <laughs> big brain be like, I ain't, I ain't going to suffering on that again. Okay, so we do that, we do that. We do that. We wait. Can I stay outside? And then we go through here. Like this. Flop. Now we do... Portal to here. We respawn this cube here. We jump through here. Looks like we've got to jump through there again. I was just looking out the window. That's all crazy. Looking out the window. Ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Very, very nice puzzle indeed. Much like self-isolation number five that we... Um, played yesterday it's very much a case of just managing those portals between the rooms and making sure you've got the right things at the right time and once you've got a portal on either side it's just thinking right how can i maintain the portal while making progress in the other room but um yeah like i said much like the laser puzzle and the self-isolation one from atom yesterday um fantastic use of logic there uh, indeed May have taken me 45 minutes. I, I, I feel like I kind of dug myself a bit of an early grave with that one because I almost wrote off the first room and I should have probably realised you should never write off the first room um, looking back at yesterday's. All right, let's just have a quick look to see what's next. Have we got time to start anything else? Uh, Megist. Okay, uh, unfortunately, I am not going to play that one because I am not a speedrunner by any means. 
All right, looks like we're jumping into this one. This is Incineration by Portal 2 Player. Let's take a look at the description. <clears throat> Excuse me. I was playing a portal the other day and thought, what if I made a chamber with the incinerator? So I did. Incinerator in chambers two and three activate or deactivate their targets for five seconds. Okay. Um. I have a hunch they probably play uh, the Talos the Principle. Room. So. Oh, because I'm Be careful not to trip over any parts of me that didn't get completely burned when you threw them down here. Pretty sure it's Talos Principle, guys. No need to question it. Just believe. Alrighty then. fell on the button. I was like, what? What just happened there? Kind of makes sense. Doesn't give you a lot of time to get through that door, though, does it? Let's be honest. Can I incinerate the security camera? Does that, does that count as a cube? Well, it did something. <laughs> I heard a door shut. But it definitely did something. I think I could have probably escaped there if I'd have been paying more attention with the security camera. Oh, jeez. Oh. Uh, oh. Okay. So... Yeah, that's a thing. I guess we gotta do... Oh. Uh, I guess we're gonna do this and this. So how did that uh oh I'll do this one first. This one first, then the other one, okay. Some ant lines here, though, or some sort of description as to which one is which would be quite helpful. Oh, I didn't put the freaking portal back, did I? Okay. Take 793.
like sure. And then we just gotta wait, I guess. While other stuff happens. I don't like the fact that you just gotta leave the edge of the safety cube here though. What? What was that garbage? What on earth was that garbage? That 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 garbage is fizzler too close to portal surface. What that garbage is. See how close it gets when you walk through the portal. I mean, all in all, relatively simple. It's just very scruffy, I would say. Very, very scruffy indeed. With regards to placements of things. I mean, I would have probably put the portal surface like over here or something. Or somewhere where there's a little more maneuverability. Some signage on these buttons. Although you can see everything it does, it would have still helped if there was some signage. These buttons here. But I don't know what uh, they're having, 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 having. You have a new worst rank. Congratulations to everyone above you. I don't know uh, what their experience is with Hammer, but I do like to be Hammer Police, despite the fact I've never been able to make anything myself. So I probably shouldn't criticize too much. But guys, that is going to bring us to the end, because I did see the next map in our <sighs> queue. I don't know that actual one, called Tombstone, and I'm pretty sure I've played that one before. Uh, so this is a remake, so yeah, I'm going to need our... Big brain on again tomorrow to tackle Tombstone from Atom. But thanks for hanging, guys. Appreciate it, as always. We'll be back same time tomorrow, 1 p.m. BST. Round off the week of Community Chambers. But until then, enjoy the rest of your day. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. Happy gaming.